rats and rodents getting into your ceilings and walls? Well, let us show you how we find how they get. So what we're gonna do because of the noise in this area here, we're gonna do is build a sealed containment, remove the toilet, open up some walls, and start doing our smoke injection and running our sewer camera. All right, because the uh, homeowner is worried about rats coming in through the affected area into the home, what we're gonna do is uh, we're building a zipper door containment that's completely sealed and this is in preparation of us uh, opening up the walls this area here which is upstairs on the second floor is uh, where our homeowner is hearing all of the scratching inside the walls and so what we're going to do now is uh, test the sewer line as well as go up in the attic space Let's go ahead and get these walls opened up and see if we can see anything. All right, folks, as you can see, we've got the plumbing exposed. And then, uh, this is inside the wall. All right, so uh, we started here uh, the rat droppings were going this way and then we've trailed them out around this tub and then into the ceiling here of the kitchen you could see right there is uh, some more rat droppings lower then it continues uh, towards the uh, south of the property so we're going to go ahead and go downstairs and uh, continue the hunt here as to how they're getting in all right folks so part of the protocol to identifying rat intrusion in your home is uh, always run a sewer camera down the existing clean out here of the home. And uh, just to kind of give you a, a visual perspective, we're actually running the camera in reverse, looking for any signs of breaks and just the overall condition of the sewer line. In this case, uh, sewer line looks to be in in great condition. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get our UV smoke ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead and utilize that clean out there. All right, folks, so you can see the smoke coming out. And what we're, we're right there. So our smoke machine is right here uh, behind the kitchen. And then as you go up, this is the two inch vent that's right above the toilet that we uh, removed in the bathroom. So now let's go ahead and go inside and see if there's any smoke coming out of the walls or in the bathroom. All right, so here we are in the kitchen with our sealed containment here. All right, folks, so we're in the kitchen. Remove the ceiling. You can see how much defecation there is. All right, so as you can see, we've got even more uh, inside that ceiling here. So it's more concentrated directly above this area here inside of our uh, containment. Folks, you won't believe what I just found. Look at this, folks. So we did our smoke test, and you could see the amount of smoke coming out of this area right here. And you could see that the uh, rats were chewing right through this ABS pipe here, right directly underneath the toilet.
All right, folks, you could see that they evidently started inside and ate their way through it um, versus it coming from the outside in. So they crawled up this sewer line here and look at the scratching. They almost made it through this, this side over here, but uh, didn't quite make it uh, other than one little hole here. But they were just gnawing on this until it uh, finally broke through over here on this side. Unbelievable. All right, folks, we're gonna go ahead now and put a brand new piece of uh, ABS pipe and connections here. All right, folks, so now that we've uh, hepa vac everything and got all the defecation out, the plywood still has a tendency to leave uh, bacteria, such as the urine and all that. So what we love using is enzymes, a very high concentrated enzyme soaks into the substrates or wood and actually kills the bacteria and gets rid of that smell. So you might want to consider using enzyme type products to uh, get rid of that urine smell. So basically it's just a, a spray bottle with a urine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and spray. This is uh, great because it's non-toxic but does a great job with deodorizing everything. All right, folks, so look, if you already have your ceilings and walls open up and there are possible ways for the rodents to get through, you might wanna consider using some foam as well as wire mesh. If you blend these two together, it really does a great job with protecting or preventing the rodents from going in. They can't chew through this, but they can sure um, chew through foam. And I've seen a lot where uh, foam is applied by rodent companies, but they just chew right through it and then get right in. So you have to combine the foam as well as the uh, mesh. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right, folks, so as you can see, just injecting the foam underneath the, the tub here, okay? And then what we're doing is we're going to apply the, the mesh around the tub. Just like that. And what that's going to do is, um, because the rodents chewed the foam, the structure of the tub, we just wanted to offer some support, but also give you a visual as to what really should be embedded in the foam is this wire mesh. So it should look something just like this. All right, folks, so we've also... Um, added uh, some wire right above the drain here. This is an ABS uh, waste and overflow, so we still have access to do any repairs in the future, but down here, what we're doing is we're adding a barrier so they don't come up into this um, wall and make noise. So we're trying to keep everything isolated to one area. So that's why we're using this um, middle mesh here. All right, folks, so, uh, as we're putting this uh, piping back together, I've got Joan, our customer here, she's in the background. She'd rather not be on camera, which is completely respectful. But so Joan, if you can um, kind of help the audience here that's watching this whole uh, rodent with, you know, scratching in your walls and making all the sounds, what are some of the things that you went through to uh, deal with actually finally finding the issue? What did you have to go through? I have had dozens of exterminators here. I've had roofers on top of my roof saying that they were coming from the roof. Um, spent thousands of dollars. And finally, I found this company on YouTube. Oh. I called them. They came right away, and they found the problem. Thank God. Yes. Thank God. Yeah, I know. You're, I, we're just as happy as you are, because sometimes these are complicated. Now, From your perspective and having all of those other experts come out to try to identify what's causing the rats in your ceilings and walls, they didn't have the technology that we had, correct? No, they did not. So from what you saw today, the smoke testing, the sewer camera, all of that really pinpointed precisely exactly where the, uh, where the rats were coming exactly. in, correct? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So. You guys found it, I'm so happy, you just don't know. I live alone and all I hear was scratching. Uh, so I was scared to death, but you guys saved me. Oh, I'm serious. Well, thank you so much. You're, thank you. 
Well, there you have it, folks, just to kind of give you some insight on how to get to the bottom of your rat problem, as well as the enzyme treatment, how important that is to sanitize and get that odor back to normal, as well as that wire mesh. All of those really do a good job with uh, protecting your property. Anyhow, folks, hopefully this gave you the insight on how to pinpoint where those rats are coming in at. If you like this video, give us thumbs up and make sure you subscribe.